Haley Bennett was an unusual girl in an unusual town. In this town everyone is partnered with a different animal. Haley's partner slash pet is a tiger she named Reka. Reka was a white tiger with the most stunning blue eyes. She was Haley's best friend. A lot of people believe their animals fully understand them. That these animals, often carnivores, were sent to protect them. Haley believed Reka understood her, but to Haley, it was her job to protect Reka. Everyone in their village of Melrania had a black panther, Bengal tiger, a lion, or in some cases, a bear. It is said by local legends that Haley must have a special ability for a white tiger to have chosen her. While it is true in Melrania, the priestess in training was often accompanied by a white tiger. Haley's job was to banish demons, to heal the sick, and perform rituals to protect her village's people. While no one knew, Haley found she had healing and purifying powers. Reka was very protective over Haley, and sometimes it really aggravated her. If Haley was practicing her archery or her dagger throwing, Reka would try to intervene in some way. Reka would purposely knock the weapons out of Haley's hands. It was as if she was saying Haley did not need mortal weapons when she had her. If only that were true. Haley and Reka may be bonded together in some way, and that made them targets for demons. Haley tried to stay at the temple at all times. Now the temple, it was the highest point in the village. Mountains surrounded it, and it was completely constructed from stone. It was supposed to be impenetrable. It was a fortress, and it had guards that watched after it night and day. Mainly because they were guarding the Stone of Tristar. The Stone of Tristar is said to grant a wish to anyone who is worthy to look upon it. It was given to Haley's ancestors by the god Pluto himself. It also could open up the other world, and that could be catastrophic at most. Reka is said to be its guardian. If any should escape the other world, they will have to be killed by the tiger's claws and the maiden's arrows. That is why Haley practiced night and day with her arrows and her knives. She had had a vision of the other world being opened and demons come forward to destroy the village. This could not happen. One day, Haley and Reka were walking in the forest of lost souls only to be interrupted. A man came running at them with a knife in his hands. Reka let out a guttural growl and pounced forward. Haley was sure Reka had made contact with the man, but was horrified when she heard Reka let out a pained cry. The man came towards Haley again, and she dodged his blow and threw a dagger, and it landed right in his heart. Haley rushed over to Reka to see that she too had been cut close to the heart. Haley prayed to the gods to heal her friend. Haley tried using her on special healing powers, but nothing happened. There was only one thing to do. Take Reka to the mountain of Phidos. There they could heal Reka and Haley could get back to help guarding the stone. Though to go to the mountain of Phidos, she is going to have to have the stone of Tristar. Will she be able to hold the stone? Was she worthy? Would the stone of Tristar be able to help Reka? There wasn't a lot of time to waste. She covered Reka with a blanket she had with her and she ran back to the temple. When she arrived, the guards tried to stop her. Out of my way. I need the stone. She is possessed. No, Reka is injured. I have to get her to the mountain of Phidos immediately. I need the stone of Tristar to enter the chambers there. Haley, one of us will have to accompany you there. We can't just let you leave with the stone alone. Plus, someone is going to have to drag that heavy tiger through the mountain. I understand, but we haven't a moment to waste. Haley ran into the center of the temple and bowed before the stone. It was blood red and had a little purple flower in the center. Haley prayed the stone would sense her good intentions and let her come forward to grab it. This was her only hope for saving Reka. This was her only chance to save her very best friend. Thinking about how lost she would be without Reka and without her friend, she let out a sob. The stone started to glow and it literally floated off the pedestal it was on. It glided perfectly into her hands. It had sensed her worry and her grief over what happened. It wanted to help her save the white tiger. It probably knew if the white tiger was down, the whole village would be in very real danger. Haley grabbed it, stuck in her satchel and left. 
she summoned her black horse, Treasure, and mounted it quickly. She looked to the guard on her right. Come, we haven't a moment to lose. He bowed and mounted his brown horse and off into the woods they went. They had grabbed some blankets, and someone to make a pallet for Reka to lie on. When they came across her body, Haley jumped down from Treasure's back and ran to her friend again. Reka's breathing was shallow. She didn't have much time. The guard made quick work of the rope, blankets, and wood and it took them both to put the tiger on it. Once Reka was secured, Haley and the guard took off. Luckily the mountain of Fido's wasn't a long ride. It took maybe a half of a day in normal circumstances. The woods flew past them and the further they went, the darker it got. The hair on Haley's neck seemed to stand straight up. Something was coming. That's when she seen it. The demon was all black and had red eyes. His fangs were long and his claws seemed to come out of nowhere. The guard, who had never seen a demon before, fell of his horse. Haley reached behind her pulling her bow and an arrow out. She notched the arrow and pulled it tight on her bow. She took a deep breath and let it out when she loosed the arrow. A blue light enveloped the arrow on its way to the demon's heart. When the arrow struck, the demon let out a blood-curdling scream and vanished without a trace. Haley wasn't used to fighting demons. They attacked once in a while in Melrania, but there had been other attacks in the country. The thing they were seeking was the Stone of Tristar. Heaven help them if the demons got their hands on it. The world would never be safe. Haley came riding up to the guard who fell off his horse and offered him a hand. Sorry, me lady, I have never seen a demon before. No worries, Blake, but we must keep moving. They know we have the stone. They rode on and on into the night until finally they made it to the mountain of Fido's. They had fought off twenty or so demons on their way. Reka was hanging on by a literal thread. Haley took the stone of Tristar out of her satchel and held it up at the stone entrance of the mountain. The stones began to roll away from the entrance to allow them in. Once they were inside, the priestesses began their work on Reka. Reciting healing chants, and of course, Haley jumped in. Haley could feel the life flowing back into Reka. When Reka stood up and roared that loud roar of hers, Haley knew everything would be all right. Everything would be all better now. No matter what, everything would be okay. If the demons try to fight them, let them come, Haley and Reka would be ready. As they headed home they knew the only thing they had to worry about was getting the stone to safety. Haley could do anything as long as her white tiger was by her side. The world was not a scary place when you have the fierceness of the tiger's claws, the eyes of the tiger, and the mighty roar of the tiger guiding your every move.